factorization by AC method. We illustrate the use of AC method for factorization of trinomials with help of an example. Here we have a question and we need to factorize 4x squared plus 8x plus 3. We first identify a, b and c. What is a? a is in fact coefficient of x squared which is 4 in this case and what is coefficient of x that will be called b and b in this case is equal to 8 and what is a constant term that will be called c and c is equal to 3 in this case. Now we take the product ac. The product a c which is equal to 4 times 3 and this is equal to 12. We need to find out two such factors of 12 whose sum is equal to 8. And we can see that 12 is in fact equal to 1 time 12. So 1 and 12 are factors. 2 times 6, so 2 and 6 are factors, 3 times 4, that is equal to 12, and 4 times 3 and 6 times 2 and 12 times 1, so the distinct factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Out of these numbers, 2 and 6 are such factors of 12 whose sum is equal to 8. Therefore, while writing the trinomial 4x squared plus 8x plus 3, we can write 8 as sum of 2 and 6. So we are not changing anything in the given trinomial other than simply writing 8 as sum of 2 and 6. You can see that there is absolutely no change in the given trinomial other than writing 8 as sum of 2 and 6. And we perform the multiplication 4x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 3. And you can see the magic that three terms of the polynomial are now four terms of the polynomial. And at this stage, we will make groups, two terms in each group and we take common whatever is common between the first two terms and here the common element is 2x. This will leave inside 2x plus 1 and what is common here? That is 3 and that will give us 2x plus 1 and like we learned in grouping method, now 2x plus 1 can be taken as common leaving inside 2x plus 3 and writing 2x plus 1 only once. And what is the result? The result is the factorization of the given trinomial. Let's do another example here. Example 2. And this time we are going to factorize 12x squared minus 5x minus 7. And as part of the AC method, our first task is to identify A, B and C. Here what is A? A is 12. B, what is B? b is equal to minus 5 and what is c? c is equal to minus 7. Now the product ac, ac is equal to 12 times minus 7 which is equal to minus 84. Remember this is a negative number. If it is negative then we need to find two factors of 84 whose difference is equal to b. So, we will find two factors of 84 whose difference is equal to b. If 
finding factors for 84 is not possible otherwise we can use a mathematical procedure to find such factors and I will use that that is called small division 84 without any reference to any algebraic sign and write down the number and use the symbol of small division this way and write down first couple of prime numbers 2 3 5 7 and so on out of these prime numbers look if this number is even then 2 will divide evenly therefore we will divide it by 2 2 4 times 8 and 2 2 times 4 42 is still even so we will continue dividing it with 2 as long as the inside number is even 2 2 time 4 and 2 1 time 21 now it's not even and we got to move to the next number which is 3 and if 3 divides 21 evenly we will do the division by 3 this would be 7 and 7 1 time is our small process of small division is complete now and now we can make two groups of the linear factors of 84 the linear factors of 84 are 2 time 2 time 3 time 7 and out of these linear factors we will certainly have two factors whose difference is equal to 5 without any reference to the algebraic sign negative or positive we just need to look at the number so here 2 time 2 2 time and 4 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12 and we can see that 12 and the other 7 are two such numbers whose difference is equal to 5 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 therefore we are going to rewrite the trinomial exact same trinomial 12 x square minus 5 x minus 7 and we will only do one change in this and instead of writing 5 we will write its equivalent value and equivalent value is 12 minus 7 who will say that 12 minus 7 is not equal to 5 it is therefore we have only changed the way we write 5 and then everything else is same and we perform the necessary multiplication which is equal to 12 x square minus 12 x plus x minus 7 here you can see that negative time negative has become plus 7 x and now if we take common we can take 12 x as common x minus 1 here plus if we take common 7 here will have inside x minus 1 again and here we take x minus 1 as common among both groups we will have 12 x plus 7 inside and outside we will have x minus 1 therefore the factorization process is complete and we have the two factors we do just one last question and example here factorize factorize 30s 30s square minus s t minus 42 t square here you can see that if we consider only numbers the what is a a is equal to 30 and what is b b is equal to minus 1 what is c c is equal to minus 42 now take the product ac ac is equal to 30 time minus 42 and if we take their product this will give us 1260 
but it will be minus 1260 and we need to find out factors of 1260 whose difference is equal to b without any reference to algebraic sign so we need to find two factors of 1260 whose difference is equal to 1 well as you can see 1260 is a big number and it's not easy to find such factors therefore we are going to use this uh, method of small division to find such factors and we write 1260 use this small division procedure and for that purpose we use prime numbers 2 3 5 7 and so on and because 1260 is even number we start with 2 and the division is 630 2 6 times 12 2 3 times is 6 and then 0 630 is still a prime number uh, is still an even number therefore we divide it with 2 again and 2 3 times to 1 time and to 5 times is 10 now 315 is not an even number anymore we, therefore we have to skip over to the next number which is 3 and see if 3 will divide 315 evenly and yes it does in fact and if we write 3 here 3 and 3 1 time 3 and then it doesn't go in 1 therefore we place 0 and 3 5 times is this and now again if we divide it with 3 this will be 3 9 times uh, 3 3 times will be 9 and 1 carried over 15 and 3 5 times is this and again if we divide with 3 will not divide 35 so we will try 5 7 times and 7 1 time we got the linear factorization of 1260 1260 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 and we can see 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 will give us 36 and 5 times 7 will give us 35 and obviously their difference is equal to 1 so we, we got those two factors of 1260 whose difference is equal to 1. We rewrite the trinomial and that trinomial is 30 s square minus s t minus 442 uh, t square and we won't change anything in the given trinomial other than writing this coefficient 1 here as difference of the two numbers 35 and 36 which we already have identified as factors of 1260 therefore 30 s square minus instead of 1 we can write 36 minus 35 and everything else is same as t minus 42 t square and we perform the multiplication just like before 30 s square minus 36 s t plus 35 s t minus 42 t square and if we take common whatever we can take common here 6 s is common and inside is 5s minus 6t plus we can take 7t common and what is inside is 5s minus 6t and you can see that 5s minus 6t and 5s minus 6t is common in 
both groups. Therefore, we take 6s plus 7t times 5s minus 6t.